myself akriti jain from tcs research today i am going to talk about one of my work on machine learning for aptamer design single stranded short oligonucleotide sequence known as aptamer binds to a specific organic molecule such as proteins dna and rna with high binding affinity and high specificity conventional selects approach is time consuming laborious and costly integrating the next generation sequencing approach with the conventional method can generate sequencing data after every round In our study, we try to learn model from round two particle display data of NGAL protein as a target protein. This protein is expressed in human tissues such as kidney, heart, lung, and liver. We collected round two data from Bashir A et al. It had different binding affinity reads. These reads were used to calculate the frequency ratio. Based on the frequency ratio each read was labeled as 0 or 1 or 2 for all the affinities if read was labeled as 0 for all the affinities then it was assigned to set 0 similarly read labeled as 2 was set to in order to identify over represented hexamers for better sequence for better binding sequence we calculated hexamer frequency ratio and cutoff was set as 10 only 20 hexamers were able to pass this cutoff We selected set zero as negative set and set two as the positive set. As the data was imbalanced, we calculated sequence score for all the reads from set zero. Based on these scores, we selected thousand sequences. To predict secondary structure, we calculated PF and MFE values for all the reads using BNA RNA and unpaired probability of all enriched hexamers. In addition to this, we calculated thirty-three sequence features using I feature omega. Identify twenty hexamer sequences are enlisted over here, along with their HFR values. In total, we had two thousand four hundred and sixty-eight feature for the analysis. We trained XGBoost classifier to distinguish low binders from the high binders and combined it with Sharp analysis. From Sharp analysis, we selected top twenty features that are listed in this plot. as we can see that most of the features belong to unpaired probability autocorrelation and covariance physiochemical properties the performance of this model was calculated on different parameters such as accuracy sd f1 score precision and recall the accuracy was 90.18% and the precision was 0.93 In order to predict binding affinity of an aptamer a linear regression model was trained on the positive set The performance of the model was calculated by MAE and MSC values. MAE was one point six nine and MSC was five point zero four. As we can see in this uh, workflow, top twenty features were selected, which are used to train the classification model and the regression model. The XGBoost classification model was able to identify the reads from binders versus non-binders. and linear regression model was able to identify the binding affinity using both the models we combined it with genetic algorithm approach to generate novel aptamer sequences to validate our model we selected aptamer sequences from selects experiment in this experiment the data was collected from round 8 of xlx experiment Using our model, two aptamers NA27 and NF53 showed the high binding affinity, and these two aptamers differ only at a single position. It had been shown that NF53 aptamer was able to bind with NGL protein without any cross reaction, and it could also differentiate between healthy and patient people. Our model. was able to identify the best aptamers using the ngs data of few rounds of selects experiment previously we have seen that deep neural networks were used to build such models our attempt to learn comparable models using well understood features are successfully able to identify the good binding affinity aptamers This study has shown that machine learning models trained on round two data with appropriate uh, feature selection can identify high binding 
aptamers. We were also able to generate novel aptamer sequences which remain to be verified using computational docking methods and finally through wet lab experiments. Thank you.